many people they want to pray but they don't feel like praying because they feel there is no time for them they don't have time they say i'm so busy that i don't get time to pray what does it mean if anybody say i don't have time to pray that means prayer is not your priority there are many other things more prior more important for you than prayer that is why you say i don't have time i remember some time back one person in our retreat center in india one accountant he came and said i will do the account work for you free of cost everything freely i will do as and we said we thought okay it's, it's a great help because he will do it everything free of cost and then we were so happy and we appointed him as the official accountant but later we found he is not able to finish everything in time always is late and one day we when we asked him how come this is not happening we are supposed to submit the document uh, account and everything in time then he said father it's too busy too busy too many work and no time and that is why but i will do it then suddenly i remembered that means he doesn't consider this account more prior priority for him or important for him and he considered all the other accounts all the other things which he was having priority for him that is why he says i don't have time if you didn't have time why didn't you take up so this why did he take up so this happens in our lives too when we say i don't have time means every else everything else eating enjoying sleeping walking around with wasting time gossiping all these things are more important than the prayer life that is why we say we don't have time to pray we don't know what is our real priority we know from bible gospel of matthew chapter 14 verse 22 onwards we we already reflected about this passage let's re- read once again immediately he made the disciples get into the boat immediately, immediately he made the, the disciples, disciples get, get into, into the, the boat. boat and go on ahead to the other side and, and go, go on, on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds while, while he, he dismissed, dismissed the, the crowds. crowds there are 5000 people in front of him the 12 apostles everyone is waiting for him to preach the gospel but he is not ready to preach he he dismissed the crowd just imagine we have such a huge number of people in front of you and you everyone wants to listen to your preaching and you are not interested in preaching you are sending them all out and you are dismissing dismissing the crowd and you are forcing the disciples to get in, into the boat and go on to the other side that means you have there is some other priority you have more important than preaching more important than saving these 5000 people more important than being with the 12 apostles there is something more priority for you and what is that it was priority for jesus and after he had dismissed the crowd he went up the mountain by himself to pray because for jesus his most important priority was to pray therefore he did not consider even the 5000 people to be a block for him even his beloved disciples to be a block his most important thing was important thing was to pray he spent time in prayer my dear brothers and sisters we need to make a priority clear many a time we are too busy for prayer too busy to pray that means we have many other priorities in our life prayer is not our most important thing and not even one of the important things prayer seems to be the least important that is why we have no time praise the lord praise the lord